become more than just a genre of music, it's become a culture. Originating in the United States, the word pop derives from the word popular. The genre of music was created through people who wanted to get more music out there, so they created a top 40s list, and it's called the charts. And it's still around today, and it's called the top 40 charts, and you can often hear it like on Saturdays or Sundays when they start going through all the popular music that's like in right now. So that's how it's create. it was created. People started getting into like more competitive work with it. They wanted to compete to get up to the top of the charts list and so people would be more, um, the field became more competitive and people sought out a reason to make more music too. Um, the first major contributors of pop music were the crooners of the 1930s. This included like Bing Crosby and Frank Sinatra. They, um, they're really the ones who started originating from the old rock and roll music style music. And then they started making their own kind that would become more popular than most other music became. And then following them was people like Elvis Presley and then the Beatles and then so forth. The reason it was so successful is because it had a wide variety, it targeted teens and it was more competitive, and it also allowed emotional expression. In the 1960s, it was a lot more of a time of expressing your feelings and the time of like hippies and stuff, wanting to get out there, how they felt and how they felt about the war and different things like that, and they, they wanted to start making a change. So through pop music and the pop culture, they started creating a reason to start fighting. And through their music, you can often hear lyrics where they um, represent the things that they believe in. And today, it's not as much that, but it's more like, partying and stuff like that, but um, that's what it was originally for. A good um, similar thing to pop music is, is an expression of freedom. Um, the use of pop for influential purposes really boomed in the 1960s, like I explained earlier, and it began the revolution for modern music and unique culture. People began to feel like they could really express themselves, which created not only like a new genre of music, but a new type of society for teenagers to get into. And they kind of felt more included because before teenagers weren't really supposed to do anything like their home, like their role was to go to school, come home, get educated, and go off to college. And um, during this time, they were more included into like the party lifestyle, and they were able to start um, listening to music, and things were targeted towards them so that they could seem more like into the society. Now I have a video that I like to show you guys of like the evolution of music. <coughs> Why you, do you just move it to the, you just twist it, the right. little black one. Right. right there yeah, between the right. desk and uh -oh. the... Oh. Move it away from you. The big thing, the big. Yeah. My thing that was making that sound, it was hers. <laughs>
kind of connection that they still represent through their songs and stuff but the main point of it was that music has become more than just kind of something that people will just listen to but it's kind of become something that people can use on it as an expression of their feelings and their emotions and to get things out there and it's actually become a culture in itself pop music has become something that um, you can see through people's styles or through people's um, the way they do their makeup or their hair it all just depends on who you are and what you stand for. So, 